Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm very happy to have you here today because it's gonna be an exciting video. First, I'm gonna show you a quick update on my wolf spiders, Gaolico Sabultuosa, and we have babies and they are all over the mama and they're climbing all over the enclosure. It is really awesome. So I have to show you that. Then I'll show you a few clips from the last expo, which was pretty epic. Then somebody requested Cerebalus Care, so these desert huntsmen. So I'm gonna show you how I care for them, how I set them up plus some fun feeding in the next segment you guys are gonna see some other cool pickups scorpion capienio salai it was a really good expo and finally we're gonna finish with the lacrodectus elegance this is the video that you're currently watching and i'm gonna show you her unboxing how i set her up and also one feeding Hey, what's up guys? Once again, welcome to the channel. My name is Miro. Let's start with this happy announcement. My female wolf spider, she just had babies and they're climbing all over her. They're climbing out of the enclosure. I'm starting to build individual enclosures for them. Some of them I'm going to keep communal, but most of them are going to be individual. And it took less than a month for them to come out of the sack. I've been kind of keeping her, somebody was asking me, so I've been kind of keeping her a little bit warmer. Uh, some people overwinter them because in Europe they overwinter sometimes but I kept her kind of warmer around 22 to 24 degrees and yeah, we have babies less than a month later. So amazing announcement, very happy. Now let me show you a few clips from the last expo. This could be the biggest puppy I've ever seen. <laughs> the biggest pocelot area I've ever seen. The fuck Matsek. Check Expo. You gotta get a beer. Next on the menu, I'm gonna show you some pickups from the expo and I'm gonna start with the Cerberus Huntsman. That's a desert huntsman. There's not much information about them. I already made a couple of videos, but somebody was asking. I guess those are buried somewhere down, so uh, they're hard to find. So here is the Cerberus care and unboxing and feeding. Um, I had a pair when I lived in Los Angeles. I paired them up successfully, but then the female ate the male and she died laying the egg sack. So that kind of sucked. Then I ended up getting another female and she lived for like a really long time. Ended up dying in my friend's care after I moved out of uh, Los Angeles. But she was very, very old. I had to feed her, basically tongue feed her. Really cool spider, so I never really got them at this size. So I'm very excited. I remember recently somebody was asking in comments, like how do I keep them? So this is how do I, how I keep them, basically. This is gonna be its enclosure. It has, it's a little deeper on the back, but I would say like three to four inches of uh, sand because these guys like to borrow, but they also like to climb. And I don't know actually if they molt in their borrow or if they molt climbing. So so this guy or girl is gonna be able to do, you know, whatever. Uh, but I, they do climb, they come out. They usually, they like it really hot and they hide during like a hot day in the sand and they come out at night. So that's why you kind of need both. You need arbor but you also need a little bit of a fossorial for them to borrow. Their vision is not very good. Uh, most of the huntsmen have kind of like, a, I would say, decent vision. But these guys, their vision is not very good. So they rely a lot on their senses. And I don't know, yeah, I'm trying to open it. It's like so hard to open and the spider is really freaking out. I don't know if there's, it's, there's any benefit of having this little uh, sand in there. I think it can only injure the spider when they basically carry them around. Another good idea. I once got a huntsman spider from Firna Tarantula and there was a substrate. There was a fully built enclosure and the huntsman ended up being under the substrate and it died shortly after. I was like, yeah, that's not a good way to do it. So yeah, I also don't think this is a good way because it has big grains of sand like this and I think it can really injure the spider but let's put it in his new home it's like nobody knows how to do anymore you want to yeah don't freak out it's all good go in there there's a shallow water dish they occasionally drink very rarely again these guys come from very hot areas 
As you can imagine, that's why they hide in the sand. Oh, you see, he's going for a drink. See, they probably kept them hot, but they never gave them any, any water or anything. So it's a good example of like, even the desert species, they need some moisture. I often see, oh, they get all their moisture from the prey, but I've even seen my Eresus drinking. So I don't know, I had the thing like occasional misting, even the desert species or having a shallow water dish does not hurt because even in desert when the temperatures get really cold at night and they get hot in the morning there is also like a little bit of a morning dew Here we just got a good proof of how basically these guys are almost blind because look until she touches it and I mean she's a little pit bull but until she touches it she doesn't even know that the prey is like right in front of her and these guys are very beautiful and fairly long lived because I had that female uh, for I want to say almost a year and a half after she matured maybe even two years feeding these guys don't eat as often as some of our other tropical huntsmen so they not the maximum maybe once a week nothing too big uh, basically as you guys can see here she's feeding on a fly before it was a dubia roach but I don't try to give them anything too big when they get older they may benefit from tongue feeding because like I said they're very is not that great and I think they may lose some of the senses and I feel like if this female wasn't fed by me she probably wouldn't make it that long and she would probably starve to death because I would have some I would some, have some cockroaches there that would live there for a really long time in her enclosure next let's check out some other cool pickups that I grabbed here is an awesome little pickup that I got from my friend Michal it's a Capianius salae. You can see it's feeding on a fruit fly already. This is actually already one size bigger than I first got. It was so tiny, but it's doing really well. It molted twice and I want to make video on these spiders really soon. And here is another cool pickup, Taurelius scorpion. It's a Madagascar and black scorpion. And you, see, you can see it's terrified of the fly. They grew actually a pretty decent size. They eventually lose the red on them and they become all black. And eventually it actually picked up all the bravery and ended up grabbing the fly and having a nice dinner. But a really cute little pickup. I might make a video on this one once it gets a little bit bigger. And in the final segment of this video, I'm going to show you unboxing of beautiful Latrodectus elegans widow that has flames on her back and it's just such a fun spider to keep. And I just couldn't resist and I named her Griselda. And we have Latrodectus elegans, which I consider to be, if not the prettiest, then one of the prettiest widows in the hobby. Look at that. I mean, how cool is that? So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to loosen up the lid like this then i'm gonna put this cup in here so we can see it and then we're gonna take the video out and we don't want her to start running or anything she's already pretty good size i actually really hope that this is not a adult female these guys are not very good climbers uh, when it comes to like a uh, glass or plastic surfaces but look how pretty she is. Should have brought my camera. I'm gonna pop it in here. Let's see if she lets me take some pictures real quick. So no pictures, but at least I'm getting some micro footage. Well, kind of micro. You see, she said a line. She's definitely ready to stretch her legs. That's so cool. What a cool looking widow. Wow. I have to say I have a new obsession. Alright guys, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check out our awesome merchandise like this hat or this t-shirt at spidercafe.shop. And I'll see you next time. Alright, ciao. We need to